I just got a package and it is new stickers. I haven't designed new stickers in a while. So the first one that's new is this noticer design. Okay, then we have four fish designs and they're all based off of my magnets. So I know not everybody has a magnetized fridge or like a need for a magnet. And then I also don't have to make a brand new one every time. Rainbow trout, which is based off of the clay rainbow trout earrings that I make. And then we have this little salmon, little brook trout, little golden trout one. Well, I think I'm gonna sell those all together as like a little sticker pack. I feel really overwhelmed right now. I feel like I have a lot of things to do. I have to update my shop. You're so flat. You're flat, Stanley. And I'm bringing all these magazines and old block prints and stuff. And it's really raining out. I think there's a hurricane or something. I don't know. A lot here in Salt Lake City right now, so I have to play Um, today is, my watch on, today is Friday, uh, the 25th of August. I had a shop update yesterday. Lots of leftovers from the market and then like large prints. And I currently have 280 open orders, which is crazy. The most successful shop update I've ever had. And I'm kind of freaking out about it a little bit. It's gonna take me so long to pack all that stuff. And half of it is print pre-orders, so I don't even have the prints yet. And I'm gonna have to order a bunch of tube mailers and figure all that out. So yeah, that's what's happening with me right now. These are all the orders that I packed today. This is 60 envelopes. This is so satisfying with so many orders. How do you like your hammock? It's awesome. I can't believe we didn't have any have video or I mean um <laughs> hammocks before. <laughs> Thursday, the 31st of August. I toured an art studio yesterday. It's so perfect. It's like exactly what I envision for myself when I think about like my dream life. Less than two miles away, I could bike there every day. It's right downtown. It's in a building with a bunch of other artists. It has amazing natural light. It's just like a really creative feeling space. My friend also has a studio in the building. So yesterday I put in my application. The guy said that he could expedite it, but I think it's mine but I feel like it's not until I pay the deposit. Um, but for right now, I have stuff to do, so. <laughs>
yet. Oh, absolutely. Um, you just want to come to the parts counter and we can get you all taken care of. Okay, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Today is Friday, September 1st. I got approved for the studio. I paid my deposit yesterday and I'm gonna be moving into the studio downtown. I'm so excited, I'm so ready. I'm freaking out, it's really exciting. Um, but I still have work to do otherwise. Okay, this is really crooked, sorry. Hello. Today I have to go to the frame shop and pick up um, original drawings that I framed a couple of weeks ago and then ship those out. I have to create my Patreon sticker and postcard and I have to paint this wholesale order that I have been neglecting. And also my partner forgot his phone and so I'm gonna go drop by his work. He works at the public library. So I'm gonna go to the library, go to the print shop, frame shop, and go get my key fob fixed. Kind of a boring day, but we got the studio, baby. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. Home now. I got a pickle. Just having a quick pick. I got a text from the building manager. Uh, I can pick up the keys at one. So I'm trying to decide what stuff I want to put in the car. I'm probably going to put some like packaging materials that are just sitting on the floor in cardboard boxes so that I can start moving that stuff in. I also had to reorder some stickers. Got some more swans. I ordered a hundred of them because they sold out really fast. I think this is my favorite sticker. And then I got ski bunnies. <laughs> Trying to figure out what to prioritize. Always a struggle. What do you think, Nora? Okay, this is the reason why I put off doing 16 by 20 prints for so long. This is 202 mailers. The panic I'm feeling right now. And then the process of moving into the studio slowly but surely started to commence. I feel like this vlog has been kind of all over the place and chaotic so far, which is not unlike the time period in which I was recording it. I found out about this building earlier in the summer actually and put in a little application then. By application, I mean I kind of just sent an email with my portfolio to the business manager whose contact info I had gotten from my friend who also works in the building and I basically didn't hear anything back all summer which was fine because I was busy with my residency and other projects but after my most recent shop update I was sitting in my apartment overflowing with things and my partner Taylor was like we either need to move or you need to get a studio space so I reached out and sent that annoying second email like hey remember me um can I see any open studios if you have any and then I ended up touring the space the very next day, signing the lease two days later and moving in three days after that. So it was an extremely slow and then very fast process. Hi, it is Monday, September 4th. First real day in the studio. It is really, really messy in here. Goal number one today is to get this to a workable condition. So here we go. Everything is just kind of on the floor. I need to put my desk together. And I think putting the drawers together is the first goal.
there's been a casualty. call it for a little bit um i got everything up off the floor but i forgot that i have an interview at two with a like local arts magazine uh let me show you what i have so far and then we'll come back later so here's the desk area then i got my drawers and shelves some random stuff on the floor i think i want to do like a painting area over here but i love having the window open it's really nice it's raining out today i need to make a list. I need to go get some things, so let's brainstorm here. I need to go take my iPad in. I need a chair. I need a measuring tape. Command. Strips. Potentially a cork board. I need a rug. Put something in here. Oh yeah, side table from home. Okay, let's go get this stuff. if I'm the kind of person who believes in perfect divine timing, but in this case, the timing can have worked out better. Like I was saying earlier in the video, I had just had a shop update where a lot more people ordered things than I was kind of anticipating. When it came time to actually fulfill all those orders, I just realized how cramped my space had become. I feel like I'll be able to plan my shop updates a little bit better now that I have all this space. And I'm really excited to have more of a work-life separation. I often would forego painting in lieu of like doing the dishes or folding laundry and feel really guilty when creative projects weren't wrapped up neatly at the end of the day. I just want to take a second to say thank you. If you have supported me by liking my posts on Instagram, watching these videos, buying a sticker, buying a print, you have contributed in some small part to making my dreams come true. That sounds dramatic, but it is true. I never thought this would be my life, but I wanted it and do still want it so badly. I feel like earlier in the video, there are some times when I seem a little overwhelmed or maybe even a little bit negative, but underneath any stress is just like a deep well of gratitude. So yeah, thank you so much.
7th and I am officially all moved in to the new studio. It is still very, very messy in here. I have a bunch of projects that I'm working on as well as fulfilling a bunch of shop update orders. So I haven't had very much time to decorate or make things look nice yet. I think my next video will be decorating and organizing the space, so I'm excited for that one. So keep your eyes peeled, maybe subscribe if you want to. I feel so grateful to have this space to make art and to work in. If you don't know, I have been working in my one bedroom apartment for over a year full time. So it feels really good and really validating to be in this space. And I just wanted to say thank you for being here. I hope you're having a really great day and I will see you next time. Okay.